another great drill. Jump drill. You can use your PVC as a line. You start in these positions and you jump. We land. Land in the launch positions. Everybody see that? Jump drill. Jump. And then we take full swings right from there. And you can start adding drills to it. So you jump one, jump back, swing. We will go to one to two. We go three, four. We might go eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you may flip the ball and bam. But notice that where they at? They created pressure in their legs. They maintain good posture. They're athletic. And they're ready to do damage. We are not in the touch business, guys. Get that out of your head. No more ground balls. No more touching the ball. We're in the what? We're in the what? We're in the drive business. Let's drive the ball from the ground up. Let's drive it. Let's get after it. Let's drive the ball. Jump drill. Another good favorite drill of mine is called the candy cane. Two variations of the candy cane. The front foot goes over your back leg. So you've naturally now pulled into your back leg. The barrel's in a good natural position. And then the hitter goes ahead and releases that candy cane. It's like loading the spring. Does everybody understand that? The PVCs are great because you feel that whip. So we can get here. Heads up. Movement and then it's a and then it's an attack. So we, we load into this backside, we feel that coil, we unload, and then it's bam, you get your hitters to max out. We want our hitters' hands to be one at the point of contact. 50% or 100%. You want a 50 or 100 at contact. 100%. You want them to max out. Max out. Go get it. Go get it. You don't have to max out at the top. You want to be able to max, max out once we create that sequence. You can bear it. Vary your, your candy cane. You can vary it from the front leg over the back, or you can vary it, which is a good one, opposite, back foot and the front foot, and then what happens is you start to feel this coil here, and then as you release it, it goes back to what we said. You want to feel forward, but still feel where? You want to move forward, but still feel where? Back. You want to feel that resistance. So a candy cane drill. Another really good drill that I love to use with the a little bit heavier. Lunge drills, get the hitters into their lunge. You can do forward and back with a twist. Another great drill to get everybody started is a high knees. You make everybody get in these positions, keep the, keep the uh, these are the one inch PVC, and they gotta hide, they gotta really work. When we say high knees, we just don't do it there and back. They're doing this for 30 seconds, maybe a minute. Get the legs moving, let's get the juices flowing. Another great drill to work on our hitters to develop offensive production. It's a simple, like a little squat thrust. We'll get here, and we get them to explode. Squat thrust, up and down. They got, they just don't do five of these. They got to do 20, 25, 30 in a row, and then turn it into a high knee. These are all activation drills to put them in great positions to feel their sequence. Does that make sense? Another drill, we like to have their arms on the other head, and we just do simple shuffle drills. Keep our arm, look at my eyes around the whole time. And all of a sudden, we turn it into an offensive position. Where am I at the whole time, guys? Where am I at? I'm in that sit position, storing energy. Ready to what? What are we doing? Ready to attack. Ready to attack the ball. Does that make sense? Good positioning for everybody. Any questions as we're moving forward here that anybody wants to address with their hitters right now? Any questions? What are, coach, what are some of the things you're seeing right now with young hitters? Separation just with our knees. 
and then we start taking we start taking full swings. And what it does now it keeps us from firing the hips too early. Does that make sense? And we're going to put the emphasis on our on our swing angle on our shoulder and being able to be able to uh, create this better pass and not have to reroute the back. Does that make sense? Another situation that you can work on is a one knee drill. This is stuff we've all done in the past, but no one ever really knew why you did it. If you go to a one knee drill now, it's going to free the hands up. But what it does, is start to feel your hands down and back. And as you take a full swing, it allows you to feel the upper body separate from the lower body, and it keeps the hips open and way too wide, way too early, okay? When you have early hip release, it throws you offline. Another drill that I would suggest to everybody is always put something on the ground with your hitters, even if they're off the tee. The swing always starts inside your swing line. The swing line on the plate, there's always a little piece of black on the plate. The swing should always start somewhere inside that black no matter where the pitch is at, because if you start inside the black, you're neutral, you haven't committed anywhere. Does that make sense? So, if you have a good swing line, it's giving you a foundation to work from, and then you can put your hitters on the other side of it and make them feel like there's a wall behind them so that it's teaching them to be able to swing the bat freely without coming offline. Does that make sense? So if you, so if you don't want them hit next to a wall, just put, them, just put something behind them Let's see if they can take full swings and make it sure they can still maintain good balance with the time. Swing line is important. Direct line, very important. Maintain good angles. Breathing in, breathing out. Coach, what are some of the things you guys have been working on? It's a lot of dropping of the hands. Dropping of the hands. The, the, the hands are going to drop. Good. I'm giving you guys layman's answers, layman's terms. Bad one, posture. Work on positioning. Do, do, just do the feet together drills. Okay? Been doing shuffle one, shuffle two is a waste of your time. You don't want to do it. Okay? Have them put their feet together. Tell them to separate. Where am I at? I'm in the perfect position to drive them off. What's up with the patient time? Have them put their bat in their hands. Here's our bat. Round angle drills. When, I, when we do these guys, you're not doing this for 10 seconds. Let's shoot for 30 seconds to a minute. Round angle. Everybody see where I'm at? Where's my barrel at? Where's my head at? Now you're starting to use the ground forces. You're starting to use areas you've never used. Get them to do some mountain climbers. Put their stick on the ground of their bat. They can do mountain climbers. You bend over and start getting their knees up. Do standing place high knees. Whatever it takes to get them to trigger their lower body and get them to feel it. When we talked about the skip jump, I also want to emphasize do it backwards as well. So you'll have a skip jump. Skip jump, skip jump, and then swing. And you can have a T right in front of you. You can do soft toss. Have them go forward, back, back, forward, flip it, and let them rip. It'll start activating their legs. Does that make sense to everybody? Everybody breathe in, right? Breathe in, breathe out. Every one of our hitters should be breathing in when they go to coil. And then blow it out. Does that make sense? Remember, no feet, no shoulders promotes a good bat path without early hip release. If you're in the launch position, I'm just going to give you a foot ball stool. If you're flipping to me, coach, I'm here. I'm just, I'm watching you, and I'm just taking it back, taking it back, and just, and just swing right from there. I'm not using my feet at all. You see that? Another quick drill for everybody is a rhythm drill. I know a lot of times people call this a speed drill, which I'm not a big fan of because the hitters just get into like a robotic state. Like you're flipping to me like five in a row, coach. So I'm gonna go up. Okay, keep going, coach. Keep going. I'm back and forth. There we go. Back and forth. Decelerate to accelerate. I would do five to eight in a row of these. Just making sure you're in a large position. Heel up. And then heel up. That's a nice rhythm drill. They can do this with the PVC without a ball, without a bat. Now you're starting to see that rhythm. Again, real quick. One, two. One, two, three, one, two, three.
three. One, two, three. Making sure we're seeing the ball, making sure we got good uh, confidence. Design your offensive performance for your team based on the ability you have and the strength of your players. Not what you want, it's what you have. Okay? Take what you got, maximize it, do the drill sets, create some fun atmosphere, get the girls to use the middle of the field, left center to right center, and stay away from the foul lines, and focus on using the middle of the field. You're going to start to see a lot more production on your team. I appreciate you guys. If anybody needs a number or email, love for you guys to come out to Chestnut Hill this year and see us put all this into action. Thank you folks, appreciate it.